the streets of eastern Ukraine, these two young women sang from their souls, the songs of a nation ripped apart by war. This is believed to be the last video of 19-year-old Kristina Spitsina and 21-year-old Svetlana Semekina, both killed hours later by a Russian airstrike in their hometown of Zaporizhia. The newest victims among thousands of civilian lives cut short during nearly a year and a half of war. The women met a decade ago in school, teaming up after war broke out to form the singer-songwriter duo Similar Girls. Performing and raising money for Ukrainian troops defending their country from Russia's invasion. Christina's mother, Helena, says music meant everything to her. She started dancing at age five. That's why she had no fear of the stage. Svetlana took inspiration from English-speaking musicians like Queen, Metallica, and Nirvana, and from Asian pop bands, teaching herself Japanese in hopes she would one day see the world on tour. Svetlana's father, Yuri, says her biggest dream was that she and Christina would go to the United States to play music, if someone ever gave them the chance. I want to read to you the lyrics of one of Svetlana's songs. She wrote, People have lost their houses, have found themselves in the alien lands. Some will get a bullet in the chest. Some will blossom in the coffin. What do you think now when you hear those lyrics that your daughter wrote? He describes a daughter who saw and felt everything living near the front lines. He says... Some new kind of emotions woke up inside her, and she wanted to express it, to tell the world with this song. Together, the women built a repertoire of more than 200 songs they performed across the country until last week's rocket strike. Helena and Yuri both rushing to the scene, finding Svetlana dead and Christina fighting for her life, dying shortly after. Two lives united in song and now in death. Buried next to each other, their songs ringing out from car stereos at the gravesite. Svetlana's father says, See how they look at each other. Here's my dear Svetlana, and this is Christina. Don't shout victory or anything else, Christina's mom says. I just want this war to stop. Let my daughter be the last one to die. Josh Letterman. NBC News. Thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Follow today's top stories and breaking news by downloading the NBC News app.